Well, hello there, Aries. Welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your April 2023 love reading. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for every single one of you. Uh, if you do enjoy this reading, please don't forget to take one split second and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It uh, really does help the algorithm and get the video out there. Uh, comments are great too. I'd like to see how you all where you're where you're watching from and uh, what's going on so we've got in the month of April we've got a lot of shifting energy okay we've got a full moon in Libra on the 6th and this can really have you focusing on your relationships um, Libra and energy likes to find balance and harmony and you might be really having a look at your relationship and you know, seeing, you know, are you finding time to spend with your person? Is there something, uh, you know, um, uh, an imbalance of commitment or responsibilities? Okay, that kind of thing in there. But Libra and, De Libra and energy does also carry with it a uh, <laughs> legal aspect. Okay, so uh, some of you could find yourselves at this time um, getting engaged, getting married, maybe even eloping um, as well. There could also be some legal Things that do come up, such as like prenuptial agreements and things like that. Um, this can also represent that there may be something to do with family around you as well. So perhaps there's, um, you know, things to do with um, making purchases, buying a house, that kind of thing. Um, buying a house, buying a car, sharing your resources, sharing your money. But we do have a solar eclipse in your sign on the 20th or 21st of April, depending on where you are. And uh, this is um, anything goes friends okay um anything goes expect the unexpected throughout the entire month of april if there's anything that has not been addressed that's you know beneath the surface of your relationship um this can certainly come to the forefront right about now because we need to deal with things we need to clear the air and the eclipse energy really does to help to shake some things up OK, and to really bring some things to light. And so some of you might be really finding a resolution with things. Um, you might possibly if things have been turbulent um, and there's been a lot of questions about your relationship, this may be where you do have those very important discussions and dis uh, decisions in where your relationship is going. So it is um, <laughs> the, the energy throughout April carries a lot of blessings, but it can also carry a lot of challenges. But your energy here here is looking pretty good okay we do have the fool card coming out here all right now the fool card can be one that is incredibly exciting a new phase a new stage of your relationship new adventures getting out and having fun this can be where you resolve some issues or you just move forward with your relationship perhaps elevate it to the next level of excitement and commitment the full card also does represent having fun having some adventure um, so some of you in the month of April might be planning some sort of getaway planning a vacation um, it may be a honeymoon that kind of thing um, and you're off you're just out there and you're having a good time but the fool card is also where we take a leap of faith and sometimes we have a lot of questions burning questions or doubts or fears in regards to love and when we get the fool card here this is you know what I trust myself that I'm making the right decision for me I'm listening to my intuition I've got all of the information that I need and even if I'm feeling hesitant or a little bit mm, uncertain because I have that trust in myself I'm gonna take that leap I'm gonna jump right into things so with the fool card there um, yeah you could certainly be of someone's a question that is a big old yes um, this can cert this can be as well with that Libra and energy um, at that full moon um, I do see uh, some of you maybe um, tying the knot but rather quickly right the fool card would be that I'm going to elope kind of thing, or I'm just going to go on a weekend getaway to Vegas. And you know what? While we're there, we're just going to do something a little bit crazy, right? So um, it does carry with it a lot of element of excitement. But there may also be some naive energy here as well. So um, because the fool, even in the upright, can represent something that I don't know. I'm a little bit naive or innocent on something and maybe you need to get some information. This can also represent that someone is being a little bit childish. 
Okay. Um, the fool card is that very first stage. So it may be that somebody has rose colored glasses on in a relationship, or perhaps somebody is not living up to their level of, um, uh, commitment or the, not living up to expectations, right? Sometimes we've got like Peter Pan syndrome and someone may not want to um, grow up or they may just be oblivious, okay, to the fact that, hey, you know, we've got real life things going on. So you may um, really have to kind of knuckle down in that energy. Okay, but we do have the strength card coming in here as well. So we've got some Leo energy going on. And the strength card is um, where, you know, it gives us courage, Okay, to persevere, to power through, to sort things out. In this particular strength card here, we've got this person holding on to a pillar. And the pillar is broken, but she's holding it together on that card. So, you know, it can be that if you've had some cracks in your relationship, um, you know, this is where you are facing things head on. And this is you having the courage, the strength to talk things through, to bring things up and to fix or hold on to something there if it's worth doing so. But this can also be an element, excuse me, here where is she holding on to it or is she breaking it off and letting it go? Okay. The choice is yours, right? Um, you know, so if sometimes if somebody is like that fool energy, not living up to expectations and they're not in that serious kind of committed energy, right? They're just like, I just want to have fun. Okay. Then this is giving you that strength that, you know what, something may be broken here. And even though something may be fun, we have the strength and the courage to let it go. Okay. But the strength card does give you some passion, some fire, and it does give you an element of, um, working things through or facing things and dealing with issues with kindness, with compassion, and with patience. Okay. But we do have the sun card coming out for you as well. So the sun represents growth in love and relationships. This also represents things blossoming in your life, right? The sun is a card of success, of happiness, of joy, of positivity. This is one where things are blooming or blossoming in your world. This is where you get that big old smile on your face and a warmth radiating through your heart. So wherever you happen to be in your relationship, whatever decisions you make, whatever things you may need to face or address, whatever the outcome is for you, it's something that does make you happy. There might be some double-edged swords to that, okay? But sometimes there's a sense of relief because sometimes we hold on to something, that strength card there. Sometimes we do hold on to something because it does have some elements of you know, fun to it or whatever. But sometimes, especially this time of year, um, and especially for you, Aries, right, that eclipse is right at the 29th degree. So it's like a kind of a do or die kind of moment, right? It's like all or nothing, babe, right? And so, you know, it's like, there's something that's got to be figured out. And even if it is an element of letting go, that strength card can go either way. Okay. Even if it is that, it's like, you know what? A, a little bit of sense of relief, even if it does come with some sadness, only because it's like deep down, you know what needs to be done. All right. But overall, that sun card there really does bring out um, some really happy vibes. Okay. Really positive energy. And it is one of success and abundance. All right. Now it does also represent children. So perhaps in the fool card, right, that, you know, um, that initiative kind of energy there. Um, I do think that maybe some of you are focused on your family in the month of April or maybe creating a family because the sun card does bring about an element of creation. I do see a little bit of a surprise coming in there, especially with that strength card. It's like, oh boy. Um, so you might have like a surprise pregnancy um, that comes that comes to light for you. Okay. <clears throat> wow. All right. So we have also coming out here, we've got the eight of fire, the eight of water. We've got the five of fire and I'm going to get one more thing. Thank you very much. Oh, two more. There we go. The messenger of air and the king of earth. So <laughs> interesting. So we were just talking about something can kind of go either way. We've got the aid of fire moving forward in a positive direction. Exactly what you wanted. Things are playing out and this is woohoo, full steam ahead. Or the aid of water. Are we letting something go? So I feel here that there is some big choices that are being made in the month 
of April and not surprising with the planetary influences that we do have going on. So that eight of fire can certainly be something that you really want, that you really desire that is manifesting in your life. This represents positive communication. It does also represent a busy energy and it can be an element of travel as well. The fool card can be about travel and adventure. The sun, right? Ooh, it's all, you know, warm and sparkly and we're having some fun. So um, the eight of water can also be about going on a journey journey because you know you could be I've got a ship on the horizon there right so you could be rekindling something here right something where maybe you haven't felt super connected to your person and now a uh, little quick getaway or romantic weekend or maybe even something a little bit longer can help you get back on track right and sometimes we've got so much going on in our lives that we don't necessarily find that time to for love and romance and to spend with our person. So this may be the time for you where you are really kind of shifting things back into that focus on your relationships. So we do have some wonderful things going on following your goals and your dreams there with that. However, we do also have communication, right? The eight of fire can be communication. Okay. And the eight of water can be an element of walking away right? There's something here. It might just not be floating your boat right about now, okay? Because that is an element of emotional detachment um, that can come in there. And it's like when we get the eight of water, it's like there's nothing that necessarily is completely wrong, but we're not feeling that connection. We're emotionally detached. And so for some of you here, the aid of water can sometimes be a little bit of an enigma because it can be detaching emotionally and walking away, walking a new path, even if you don't know where you're headed and where your future is. Okay. But it can also be taking the next step forward on your journey in your relationship to achieve your wishes and your goals, right? So it is a movement. Um, there's a lot of movement, right? Eight of fire is movement. That's the eight of wands and the eight of water is also movement. So wherever it is you're heading, okay, it's like something has to change, something has to shift. And whether it is that element of having fun or moving forward with your relationship, right? We do have that fool card there, which can also kind of go either way, right? A fresh start, a new beginning, or the next stage of a relationship or that adventure energy, right? So we've got a little bit of uh, a little bit of enigma energy that's coming in there, right? It's like, I don't know, it's kind of go either way. So, and you know, because this is a collective reading, there's a lot of people, it's like, again, with that eclipse, it's like now or never, kind of energy. So it's like up in the air a little bit. And that decision is really going to come down to you and your willingness to communicate and your willingness to power through something or state your desires. This is what I want. All right. So, um, but I do feel overwhelmingly and especially because we do have that sun card there um, and we do have that fool energy, which is for the most part um, really exciting and really pleasant. Okay, I do feel that a lot of you are resolving issues. You're moving forward. You're looking at the future a little bit more positively than you have been perhaps throughout the month of March and even prior. Okay, and you are looking to make some changes or make some improvements or just shift your focus. We do have the five of fire out here for you as well and this is the five of wands energy so in this particular deck this the five of water uh, sorry the five of fire can come about with some competition or some conflict or some drama okay so you might be going through some sort of family drama or you have been but this particular deck when we've got the five of fire we are releasing things okay we are embracing some positive change. We're finding better ways to communicate, better ways to deal with issues. Okay, and we do have, you know, again, that full moon in Libra, really all about all of your relationships, romantic or otherwise, right? So family can come into play for you here. And if you've got some... um you know, family issues that have been going on, this is an element of resolving them, right? It does bring about change, brings about obstacles, challenges, but also some change for you there. Okay. And in a positive way, you might be, um, you might be discovering new ways, right? All about the new with the fool. Um, you might be discovering new ways to communicate. You might be putting up some healthy boundaries. You might find a way, aid of water, to detach emotionally from people within your family unit, okay, that sometimes get under your skin. 
And so that can certainly help your relationship, right? Instead of engaging in a battle, what do we do? We take a step back, we walk away. Okay. And, you know, so finding that power within to do that um, is really um, uplifting. It's like, oh my goodness, I did it. I didn't get involved in the trauma. I didn't get involved in this. And I didn't let someone really get on my last nerve because I found a better way. So uh, some very interesting energy there. So I do feel that there is some positive changes, whatever you are looking at there. Now we do have the messenger of air and we also have the king of earth. And so the messenger of air is the, is the uh, knight, of, um, knight of swords. And this quite often is very much communication. Some news, some messages, something coming in or we're communicating with the earth here, the king of earth about our money, our finances, um, about our home, about our family, and also about commitment, okay? And long-term commitment, that king of earth is very solid, very stable, very secure. So you may be talking about the future. You might have some commitment, things that do come to light, or you're resolving some issues here in regards to money. And so um, we do have an influence of Taurus coming in, and we do have an influence of um, Gemini coming in as well. And so all about communication, all about money and resources, okay? And um, we do also Pluto and Aquarius, by the way, as well. So all about power, um, powering through things. It brings passion, it brings fire, but it also brings transformation and change into your month ahead. So I think here we've got some great things going on for you, okay? But for, a couple, for some of you there, there might be this element of you know, now or never. And maybe it might come across as a little bit of an ultimatum, but I feel it's a little bit more um, balanced than that. Okay. Especially with that strength card there, there might be that element, like we've got to sort this out. We've got to talk about this right now. Um, but there may not be any kind of, um, ultimatum like threats there, right? It's just like, we've got to deal with this because otherwise we just can't move forward. So I think some of you are dealing with a little bit of a challenge there, but however it does resolve, I think there is a little bit of a peaceful element with that okay whatever decision um that gets made because sometimes knowing is a lot better than just being up in the air and not knowing things okay but the king of the king of earth does bring in an element of stability and security for the long term so and it also brings in this energy of leadership and success so if you've been having some money issues they may get resolved in the month ahead if you've been having some commitment issues again you're going to get some answers and some resolutions around that I think you're going to be feeling whatever your situation is you're going to be feeling a lot more stable and secure why because you've taken the lead right because you have dealt with things in the month ahead okay the king of earth can represent um uh either you or your person that has been focused on their career making some money and because we do have that new energy here i mean yes this is a love reading but our our finances our career path they do play a role in our relationship Okay, and so I think here that some of you may be starting that new job or you may have some money coming in and that can really help your relationship, all right? But we do have these eights coming in and eights do represent unlimited potential. They are um, quite often, you know, with kind of a lot of flexibility comes with those eights, but it's also a little bit of manifestation energy coming in there as well. So whatever it is, set your intentions um, because we do set intentions at the eclipses. Okay, and especially since this is a new moon eclipse, the second new moon in your sign in the month, it does bring about a lot of magic to it. Also brings a lot of mystery and uh, also, you know, at that element of surprise um, can certainly come up for you in the month ahead. Okay, so whatever it is, set your intentions, right? Always try and manifest or set those intentions based on the positive and based on abundance. Okay, and, you know, kind of watch the magic because this energy really does set the stage for you for the next six months. All right. So, but we do have got some great things, not without its challenges there with the eight of water and the five of fire. But again, whatever you've got going on, I think you really do figure it out. Okay. So <clears throat> let's see what else we get for you guys here. So we've got the dog. So we've got some loyalty and friendship. We've got the whip, a little bit of a challenge there. We've got the fox, a little bit more of a challenge. The key, we've got wealthy man, huh? That's king of earth energy. We've got the anchor, adjudication, gift, and main male. Okay, 
So I think here that there may be some things that you're dealing with that have probably been going on for a while. Okay. We do have the friend or sorry, the, excuse me, the dog. Okay. We've got the dog, the whip, and we do have the fox coming in there for you. Okay. And so this can certainly represent that there's something going on that is a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of an issue. Okay. This can be that, you know, trust factor is kind of a little bit of a challenge. Okay. Or that loyalty, right? The dog does bring in this element of trust and loyalty and, you know, it's like, you know, are we on the same page, right? The whip and the fox together, this can bring in some tension. This can bring in some challenges, right? This can bring in some drama. This can bring in sometimes a little bit of um, arguments, okay? This can also be sorting something out that's not quite right, okay? And so how do we get things done? Okay, we're committed or we're loyal to um, getting things uh, cleared away. We're loyal to dealing with things, okay? Or perhaps someone's loyalty and commitment is a little bit in question here. Um, but we do have the key, which brings answers and solutions. Also the big yes card. We've got a wealthy man coming in here and we also do have the anchor. So this brings in stability and security. So I think that here with the wealthy man right in the middle, this can certainly represent you or your person or a third party who does have some sort of key to your success okay, or key to your stability. Okay. And that King of Earth, I'm going right back to that. All right. So this can be somebody who um, has some influence over your money, over your, um, your stability and security in your relationship somewhere. And if someone's got some career goals, if there's been some money, money issues coming in, okay, this can be someone who has a job offer. This can be someone who has, um, you know, uh, gives a little bit of help in finances. Okay. Um, and this can also represent, I mean, the key in the the key and the anchor together does bring about the answers that you might be looking for. The anchor is about your goals and achieving your goals as well. And that key is really um, the key to it all. Okay, so I think you are getting the answers you need. You are figuring out what it is you want. You're having those discussions. You might have some really positive news coming in in the month ahead. Okay, um, I think probably just what you wanted. And I'll show you the next cards and it's kind of how I know. I think there might be some offers, opportunities, invitations, proposals, engagements, and maybe some travel coming in here as well. With the anchor, this can be some travel um, because the wealthy man can be where you're spending some money as well. Um, the anchor here can represent some travel, especially in water. Okay, so maybe you're going on a cruise or maybe you're going overseas um, or maybe you're taking a little bit of a vacation somewhere near some water. Um, but this can also represent that maybe there is this element of picking up anchor and moving. So again, some of you might be moving in together. You might be... Um, uh, you know, doing a little bit of something around your home, right? A little bit more stability there. Okay. So, but we do have some very exciting energy. We also have judication. Okay. Which can certainly bring in a legal element. There's that Libra um, energy coming in some very important decisions. Okay. So in this wealthy male can really have some sort of decision, okay, that affects your relationship and maybe your money. So again, it can be that job offer or a little bit more money coming in. And we do have the gift coming in for you here, which is all positive, all good. Okay. Something coming towards you and main male. And this would be you because uh, when I set the intention for this deck, this is you, the viewer. It doesn't matter if you're male or female, you are the main character in the story. Okay. So you might be making decisions on how to spend money with that gift card. You might have, again, some money coming in. You could just have some advice coming in as well. Gifts of all forms, okay? Money, opportunities, engagement rings, travel, um, job offers, offers of commitment in a relationship, okay? Or it can even be those resolutions, something that you feel is like, this is exactly what I was wanting. This is what I was looking for. But the judication energy here does show that there is some sort of decision that's being made, whether it's you making a decision or a decision that does reflect affect your relationship. But we are turning a challenge up here into something positive down here. Okay. And especially, especially these cards here, they're just wonderful, wonderful cards. They do bring in some excitement and they do bring in some answers and some gifts, some solutions. We're figuring things out because why? Because we're loyal and we're committed in your, our relationship. Okay. And I do think here that as well, that 
if, um, you know, that if there is some question about someone's loyalty or commitment, I think even getting that answer will, you know, because your goal here is to figure out what's wrong, what's going on and to find that answer. Okay, so I think here that in that energy, um, I think here that whatever answer, whatever solution, whatever that turning point is for you, I think it's going to give you a peace of mind only because it helps you prepare for change, helps you prepare for your next steps on your journey in your love life. Okay. Um, the man, the, the wealthy male right in the middle of the center, uh, right in the middle of the reading here can represent somebody that is a little bit frivolous, can represent somebody that is, um, you know, maybe only uh, looking after their own needs, maybe a little bit someone who's acting a little bit spoiled or selfish, kind of like the fool card can sometimes bring in a little bit of that. Okay, so again, it's like, are you committed or not? Okay, because it's time for us to make some decisions and make some choices here. All right, but all of these, I think you are figuring out some solutions and making some very important decisions in the month ahead. All right, so let's get a couple last cards out here for you. And I will say the um, card in the middle there is card number 13. And we do have Pluto in Aquarius, which is incredibly significant um, because Pluto hasn't been in Aquarius in our lifetimes, not since I believe it's the French Revolution or something. So a couple hundred years. And that energy is related back to the death card. So it is that element of change and transformation and things evolving in your life. And yes, sometimes things come to an end and sometimes we've got a fresh start, a new beginning or the next stage of our relationships here. So change is kind of inevitable for a lot of people right about now. So let's see, we do have, okay, so we've got two extra cards coming out for you. We've got orphaned here. Okay, and this is card number five. So this does represent a little bit of a challenge um, for you. So this is an energy of feeling alone, of feeling left out, of feeling a little bit desolate. Okay, so sometimes it's hard to break free out of that, right? And if, you've, if you're not feeling supported and loved by your person, then you could be feeling a little bit abandoned, a little bit orphaned in this energy. Okay, so spirit is um, really giving you a little bit of a heads up that when we sometimes get in this energy, it looks kind of depressing, right? When we sometimes get in this energy, and remember, we've got the five of fire here. This could be being left out of family. This can be feeling like the third wheel. This can be feeling like you're not involved in decisions, or you're maybe feeling as though you haven't been spending time with your person. Okay, so this is this opportunity for you here to deal with some things and to turn things around. Okay, take that negative and try and focus on moving forward, trying to turn that into positive, because sometimes when we get in this energy, we do run the risk of getting stuck in that energy. Okay, and so I feel here that you're really getting empowered, especially Pluto and Aquarius. Okay, I think you're looking at the future, and I think you're feeling a little bit of empowerment here and you're going to really kind of stand up and um, advocate for what is yours, okay, or for what it is that you want. Sometimes the key to success, we've got the flexible card coming in here. Card number 19 relates back to the, relates back to the sun, okay, and sometimes the key, the answer is to be open, adaptable, and flexible, and we said that already with those eights coming out for you, okay, um, there's new beginnings, there's a fresh energy coming in, there's something brewing behind the scenes there, okay, and your key to finding those solutions, those answers, or to moving forward is to be a little bit flexible, okay? Sometimes we do get stuck in, it's I want this or nothing, okay, and while that is fine and dandy, sometimes finding a compromise can be the best way forward, so be open, be adaptable, be flexible, okay, and be willing to compromise with your person, okay, or with your relationship in here, and you can actually have a lot of happiness and joy from both parties, all right, so, but I do think here there is an egg here, and in this deck, the eggs do represent the birth of something new, okay, or something new behind the scenes, and um, again, I'm I'm going right back to pregnancy for some of you okay so whether you're talking about starting a family adding to your family or maybe there's a surprise coming in there for you okay I just think it's like woo, just take things as it comes and deal with things one thing at a time and you will move forward okay and get un unstuck okay or find those resolutions 
So I'm going to leave that there for you, Aries. I hope there was something here for you. I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed your reading, please don't forget to press like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. Where are you watching from? Um, what is going on in all of this crazy April energy? So I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.